Hey team, here we are on Friday the 13th, just the day I wanted to pick to cook this recipe for you. <laughs> so actually it's September 13th and it's a Friday night and I have the book that we prepared of all your recipes here together. And as you know, um, we did this team building because it was a really great way to understand uh, all the, our favorite recipes from around the globe and uh, Shidich's uh, What's it called? The, the name is the Indian Chicken Tandoori One. So I think I have all the ingredients and I definitely have the chicken in the, the refrigerator so we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so first of all we need to check and see what we have. Okay, uh, I'm supposed to have 12 chicken uh, legs so uh, here they are. I have to say there was a little incident related to this. So uh, about, for, we were supposed to do this uh, actually uh, Labor Day weekend, but my husband is a technology guy and he had one of those weekends. So we didn't get to video it. So I did already strip the skin from the chicken breast. So uh, we will be skipping that step, but they are ready. Uh, they had to freeze in between. Okay, so that's the chicken. Let's see, next we have garlic paste. Now, I could have made this from scratch, but we bought it in an Indian restaurant, so that's another uh, helpful hint. <laughs> okay, next, what are we supposed to have? Turmeric, ground turmeric powder. There we go. Looks like we got that. Okay, okay. Ground coriander, we got that. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out, but this is like the chicken tandoori masala spice sauce. Uh, oh, we got to get the plain yogurt. Plain yogurt. Let's see. So we bought the huge plain yogurt. I'm pretty sure we only need a couple teaspoons, so or tablespoons, but we'll be good. Uh, salt. Gotta get some of that. Okay, we've got some salt. Uh, what else? Oil. Okay, we've got some oil. We do have oil. Okay, so what were the other things I needed? Chili powder? Well, I don't need the curry or the ground ginger. <laughs> Let's pause while I try to find the chili powder. Looks like the tragedy was averted. One, I found, you know, true salt versus, you know, the little salt shaker. That might be better. And two, hidden away, we had chili powder. So we're good. I think we have all the ingredients. Okay, so what's next? Yeah, they're here. They're clean. It was a major pain. <laughs> I have to say, I would be happy never to have to clean chicken legs again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I think we're good on that. Um, so next, I am supposed to cut the chicken, so I'm going to do that. Uh, actually, let me move all this stuff over a little bit. And this is the first time I'm doing anything to cut chicken, by the way, ever. So, you know, bear with me. <laughs> okay, so we got, by the way, that would be my cutting board. Notice the wine theme. Okay. So here we go. Chicken. There's all the legs. They don't look bad, hopefully. They are defrosted after today. Um, so next, knife. Okay, so I am supposed to make deep cuts on each leg piece. So I'm working it. Hopefully you're bearing with me here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm, I'm making deep cuts. I am sure Shidditch has a, a method to this, um, but, you know, hopefully that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that's two of them. What do you think? Do you think that looks good? Little cuts in the chicken? Yeah, they look deep. Okay, <laughs> I'm working it. So next, we are set to make up the batter. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a bowl over here and our cool little uh, unused teaspoons and tablespoons. 
I'm pretty sure we've only used them once or twice, by the way, but they look nice. So um, let's see, what do we need? Oh, by the way, my husband advised me we need to put the dry stuff first so it doesn't, uh, you know, stick. It'll be easier. I, I'm guessing that's not the garlic paste. It looks kind of, you know, wet. So let's see. What do you think? Do we need to double? Or are we, we're going with the standard, the standard recipe. Okay, we'll see how that works. Okay, so first we need turmeric powder, half a teaspoon. Teaspoon half. Okay. See, turmeric. I don't even know which one it is. Okay, turmeric. Here we go. Oh, hmm. Guess I gotta take that off. Okay, here we go. Half a teaspoon. What do you think? Good? Okay, good. Turmeric's in. Uh, chili powder. Well, see, this is where the puppy comes in. So, um, what they say, chili powder, half a teaspoon. It depends on how spicy you want it. I think I'm going with a half. I'm not going for more. Yeah. I'm sure you would like a little more. <laughs> okay. So there's half. Okay. Coriander. Okay, that is one teaspoon. Okay, so we've got turmeric. That's done. Okay, brown coriander. We did buy this special for this. Didn't have that. Okay, here we go. It's supposed to be one teaspoon, so I'm doing two halves. There's one half. And there's another half. Okay. Let's see, what's next? Coriander. Mm -hmm. It's only one teaspoon of oil. And four teaspoons of plain yogurt. So, one teaspoon of oil. I'm going that. I have a teaspoon here. One teaspoon. Let's hope this works. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's why I don't cook. Good enough. <laughs> okay. So that's the oil. Uh, what do we need? We need something with the garlic powder. Two teaspoons. Not garlic powder. Garlic paste. No, I'll open this up. Uh, there we go. What does it say on this? Do I have to shake it or anything? Nope. Looks okay. Well, you're going to shake it anyway. Okay, how much do I need? I need two. I need two teaspoons. Okay, so. Alright, so I can do one. Two. Okay. Nope, my precision. Okay, so what do we need? We need four teaspoons. So. One. Two. Missing. I think we're good on that. Two teaspoons. So four of these. One. Two. Parts of that. Three. Four. Okay. I think. And I'm supposed to salt to taste. I'm not quite sure how I do that, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt in. I think I'm going with the salt shaker. One, two. There we go. We got the salt. What do you think? Do I need more? That looks good. Okay, great. Okay, I think I have all the ingredients. So what am I doing next? Stirring it up, I would imagine. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just using the regular spoon. So I think I can push this over. Move this over. Take this one. Okay. So we're mixing up the paste. It's going to be round, I guess. From, uh, can you see that? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. A lot of spices. But it definitely does look good. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Do I need to do anything else? What did it say? So mix all the spices thoroughly until a thick light brown batter. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Hopefully it looks good, guys. Okay? I think we're ready to go. We'll start with this. Maybe I can do this and make sure it massages in. I like that theory better. <laughs> what do you think? That looks good. Pushing into all the cuts. What do you think? Do I leave them over here in the meantime, or do I just throw them uh, in a bowl? Because under the no, I just throw them in a bowl. Okay, that way we don't have we don't waste any of the marinade. Okay, we're working on number two. Okay, everything's running into the the marinade, but here we go. What do you think? Looking good. Marinade deep in. Looks great. Okay. I need positive reinforcement. <laughs> Let me just say, <laughs> since this is a new experience. <laughs> okay, there we go. Three. Three down. Lots to go. I have to tell you, my hand is actually cramped <laughs> from holding the chicken legs. And you really had to work at it because... Uh, you know, there's enough, as you can see, everything's covered, um, but, you know, there wasn't a lot to spare. Um, so, uh, I think we're in good shape. Um, now, I was supposed to have a covered bowl, 
So uh, my approach to this is going to be we're going to cover this with foil. Um, actually, I think I need to cl clean my hands. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Okay, so hands clean. Makes it a little easier. Um, and foil. Okay. By the way, this is still foil I have from the time I lived in Hungary. How long ago was that? It was about seven years ago, eight years ago. So that tells you how often I use foil in this kitchen. <laughs> just, uh, you know, <laughs> just to share. <laughs> okay. So putting foil over it. What do you think? Pretty good? Okay. Okay. So uh, we're going to stick this in the refrigerator. The plan here is, um, actually we're, since I didn't have time to make this during the day, we're actually going to marinate it overnight and then cook it tomorrow and uh, have it uh, for a Saturday lunch. Okay guys, so here we are uh, back the day after. Uh, so it's been marinating, our chicken's been marinating overnight and now we're going to cook it so we'll have a nice uh, Saturday lunch meal. So uh, the first thing, um, yeah, looking at the recipe, is we need to preheat the oven to 425. So bake. And yeah, my oven isn't used that much. Um, so we're going to 425. Okay. And it's preheating now. It looks like we're ready. Um, so we're going to be throwing the, the chicken in the oven. If we come over here, or we're at 425, so we waited our appropriate tw time. And we're opening the oven. Very clean oven. Um, and here we go. I'm putting it down. What do you think? This level? Yeah? Okay. Let's, don't want to burn my hand. Okay. So our chicken is in. And I guess we should probably set a timer, right? Timer. We're going to set it for the... 40 minutes. It's 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to set it for 40 so I can, you know, kind of see how it's going. I don't know. Okay. I assume that's working. Okay, so as you can see, we're ready. It's uh, about 35 minutes later. We've checked actually the chicken, and uh, I'm going to take it out of the oven now. Looks good, doesn't it? Check it out. Looks great. So now doesn't, I'm going to try. Try not to burn my hands. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, turning off the oven. <laughs> and uh, and so um, in the interim, what, what we uh, what we did is we made up a little bit of a plate here, a little bit of salad, and then um, some Indian kidney, be kidney bean uh, sauce that we're going to have with this. Um, and so we're going to take a piece of this and uh, and see how it is. So oops, stuck a little bit to the to the tray, but I think we're good. We'll put uh, you know a piece. What do you think? Two pieces each. That'll be a good lunch. Okay. And here we go. So what do you think? We can uh, you know we got it all set up. Maybe I shouldn't advertise my wine, but I do have a nice glass of wine, white wine to have with it. And uh, we're going to give it a try. So I'll sit down here. Okay. Actually, honey, before we do this, especially with all your, uh, yeah, we need to do a little toast. <laughs> Ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks. So we'll see how my uh, how my how my cooking experiment worked. So I think I'm just gonna pick it up, right? Or do I cut it off? I think I'll cut it off. Um, let's see. Well, looks done. I've actually not really cooked chicken legs before, so oh, my husband has. Let's see. Mmm. Very good. A little bit of spice, I can see that worked in there for sure. <laughs> it's good with a little bit of a kidney beans. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Well, I guess I'm going to highly encourage you guys to, to give this a try. 
Uh, I definitely love Indian food and uh, and now I know actually how to cook it instead of buy it in a, in a local restaurant. <laughs> and, uh, and so this is really great. So I really hope, um, and maybe Mike you can hand me the book right there. I really hope all of you have uh, an opportunity to take a look at some of the recipes that we put together. Hopefully you'll get to know each other a little bit better and feel, um, you know, really start to understand our global team a little bit better, a little bit more personally about some of their favorite things that they do in their free time. So, uh, so thanks so much to everybody who contributed to this. There's absolutely some great recipes here that uh, I really hope you'll take advantage of. And I appreciate you guys making this uh, not too complicated for me to, uh, to try out because uh, this really was fairly, fairly easy to do and maybe that'll start me on my journey to, to cook a little bit more. Okay, well I hope you guys are all having a, a great day and we'll talk later. Happy recipeing! <laughs>